So we've got our pal DV here. You're here for a couple of reasons, but one of which is you got sausages for legs. <laughs> so I see this every year around this time. It's kind of interesting. I always look forward to this, but people eat uh, those uh, hams, Christmas and New Year's, and they're loaded with sodium. And they come in because they're having leg pain, and sometimes they don't even realize they're swelling. But um, in your case, you can look. Did you see that? She got fingerprints now. Did you know it was that bad? Mm -mm. Yeah, you got some pretty good swelling on it. Actually, hurts a little bit when I push on it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Not to cause you pain, but just to kind of demonstrate to you how much fluid you have. Yeah, so too. what's happened is, is, is you've created such a salt load in your body, your kidneys aren't able to eliminate the sodium that fast, and it's actually collecting in what we call the interstitial space, which is the space between the skin and the veins, and around all the cells in there. So you have this fluid buildup, and actually, it can be quite painful. Yeah, it hurts so, to walk. It hurts and it gets on the feet right down here, so you get little, little, uh, you know, puffy feet too, yeah. right? And up the legs, and usually, if you're lucky, it'll stop there. But it sometimes it goes all the way up. up. You can feel it everywhere. All right. So what are we gonna do for you? Uh, are you feeling any shortness of breath? No. no. Good. Good. Okay. We're gonna listen to your Every lungs here. Every once in a while. Okay. All right. Well, we'll listen to your lungs. And um, too. you know, I. You know, I've also got MS, mm -hmm. and I've had two attacks back to back, okay. not getting over totally over the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yesterday, I started having um, problems with my vision. Okay. And now I'm seeing the black spots and, mm -hmm. and all of that so I don't know if I'm getting ready to have another attack mm -hmm. and so um, what do you do when you're getting ready to have an attack do they have a medicine for you to have on hand for that or no okay. uh, right. they usually do the uh, uh, sorry, Medro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, which is which is typically what we would do as well is we would give you some um, either IV solumedrol or push on oral prednisone, whichever works faster for you. Um, the problem is when you use steroids, though, that can actually contribute to the retention of the sodium. Right. So I'm going to have to give you uh, some diuretics to help you get rid of this fluid. Okay. Uh, now you know what the best way to keep MS under control is besides your medications. The way you eat. What you eat. That's right. And we know that MS is directly related to the consumption of animal proteins, especially dairy. All right, so if you'll reduce your dairy intake to nothing, you'll see an improvement in this area. And I had a patient that we recently diagnosed with MS, sent her to a neurologist for a confirmation of the diagnosis, and she came back about six weeks later and I said, okay, now we have a confirmation on the diagnosis. The first thing I want you to do is to stop eating all animal-based foods. And she looked at me and she said, that's the same thing the neurologist said. I said, that's right, because that's correct. Because we do know the body confuses animal proteins with your own proteins in your, mind, in your brain, okay? And it can lead to an autoimmune response that can actually cause the MS. So we don't want that. So we want you to stop the consumption of as much of the animal products as you can, especially the dairy, okay? All right, I'm going to give you a diuretic. We're going to get this puffiness down so that you're not in pain. Well, and, let, me, let me ask you one thing. Absolutely. Oh. Eight years ago, I had a blood clot in my jugular vein. Okay. And I was, you know, you were really swollen. Uh huh. This is it, not a blood clot. Yeah. So, it, with a blood clot, we would feel a lot more pain back here in the calf or the gastroc area, and here. That's called a Homan sign. If it's present, you don't have it. And also, you've got uniform peripheral edema in the lower extremities here, okay? So, uh, unless you just had this really unusual case where you had bilateral blood clots, which you don't, okay? Uh, and in which case, you would have a significantly more edema or swelling than you currently have, okay? So, that's not what's going on here. This is directly related to peripheral edema, to swelling on the legs due to your body's inability to get rid of the excess sodium that was contributed to by the... The hand that you well, have. Okay. I don't use a lot of salt when I cook. Nobody thinks they do, but if you are eating animal based products, remember the last three days before they slaughter an animal for you to eat it, they feed those animals mm -hmm. just about nothing but salt. So they put on as much as 20% of their body mass in the last 72 hours of their life, and all that sodium and fluid ends up in us if we eat that, right? So you don't have to add it to get it. Okay. But, you know how you get the. Uh, uh, the cheese and they're cubed. Mm -hmm. I ate about mm -hmm. one cube. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I would leave but, cheese out of my diet for the MS purposes. Did she eat more ham than that, or she she being? Well, no, she's pretty truthful, <laughs> something like that. But uh, it, but if something else is uh, it's yeah. got it, sodium in it, it's causing yeah. this. Yeah, I think that there's there's probably something in your diet then yeah. that, that yeah. has more sodium in it than you think it does, and, and is contributing to this. And anyway, we'll take care of it for you. Uh, just be on the lookout for high sodium foods. If you're drinking diet beverages, those are usually loaded with sodium, so you watch your no, food, you know, I don't drink okay. diet. <laughs> good, good. You drink the real stuff. Yes. All right. Well, Happy New Year, Dee Dee. Thank you for sharing your story with us. No, Happy New Year to you. Tell us something. Hi, I'm Suzanne, and I take Dr. G's Meta 7. This right here? I've been taking it since, yeah. um, well, for one month, actually. Okay. And? And I really enjoy it because uh, it activates my life, just like it says. I yeah. have lots of energy. You do have more energy. And, yes. A lot and more you're energy. taking it as part of a weight loss program, right? Yes. Okay. And now we have lost some weight, but we're not going to attribute all of that to the Meta 7 because we use, no. we use something else to help. But the good thing is, is while you're losing weight, you still have lots of energy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. And I like to swim. And so it's great because I can swim extra long because of the Meta 7. I, you know, I really, really enjoy it. Awesome. So, yes. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, folks, this is Emily and Emily's been using Coco Skin Plus. Emily, um, you want to give your personal testimonial? I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. Awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I've definitely noticed a difference. It's definitely helped my hair feel better, my skin feel better, and you can pick it up on Amazon. All right, check out Coco Skin Plus on m7amazon.com, available, and it was designed by Dr. John Gilmore. Thanks.